My talent is face yoga. Face yoga? Yes, it's the natural solution to regain or maintain your youthful appearance. I follow you on Instagram. Really? Oh my gosh! I do some exercises in the car when I'm driving. Yes, it's perfect timing. Yeah. I'm upset. Why didn't you share this with me, Because Sophia? I don't think you can do them. What do you mean? I thought we share everything. I can't believe you're hiding this secret from me. No, I wanted to contact guys, her. Guys, actually. Anyway, guys, we have a show. Hi. Okay. <laughs> Let's start with face warm-up. Inhale. <gasps> like a bigger, the better. Next, tongue exercise. And... Come on, bigger smile, please. Show me upper teeth, and then... Achina walk. Sign up! This is natural alternative I to know, plastic I know, surgery. But we're looking stupid. Go on, go on. OK, next, we got to move on to cheek squat. This is ridiculous. Try to lift up our cheek as high as possible. They're not doing it. You don't get it in face yoga? I don't want to look youthful. I do, I do. Next, we're going to move on. Next. I can't hear the word next, next again. Exercise. We're going to do like this. I do that one in the car. Never come to your house. I think this is something you should do in private, not on a stage in front of but millions of people. ACT is for any talent. It's for anyone. I'm going to vote. I'm a no. ACT is not just for dancers or singers or magicians. ACT is for any talent. Simon, what do you think? No, but thank you very much indeed. Any talent. What's the vote? I say yes. And what did you vote? Got two yeses, and that's all. It's not enough. No? Anyway, thank you so much. You're thank a wonderful you so young lady. Uh, thank you for coming. Thank you. Thank you. Maybe this is the day we turn up and just no one has any talents. Uh, no. There's America, always someone talent. good. Always. My name is Brett Loudermilk, and uh, I'm a sword swallower. Oh. As if you didn't already know that. Uh, I need a woman from the audience to help me out. Let's see who we've got. Uh, Sophia, Hi. can I please use you? Yeah, turn me, turn me over here, Sophia. Up the stairs, thank you so much. Join me right over. Here. I'm not gonna swallow anything. No, 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 you... <laughs> you... No, no, no. No, wait, wait, stand right there. You and I are gonna swallow a sword. I'll, I'll swallow a sword, you're gonna help, okay? Okay. Okay. I'm gonna place the sword into my throat and let go. I'm gonna hold it there with the muscles of my esophagus. I'll snap my fingers, open everything up. It's gonna drop down the rest of the way by itself. It's gonna bump. I'll bend myself into halves. I'll turn towards you and wink. When I wink, you grab the sword and you pull it out. No, I'm not yes. going to pull it! Yes. <laughs> what if I kill you? <laughs> you were the wrong choice. OK. Um, are you, <laughs> you ready? No. Just nice and slow. OK. OK, here we go. You have to watch. <laughs> Did you not understand? <laughs> it's winking. We're gonna try the 
this again, no, okay? No, what if I put it in? <laughs> okay. Uh, my career has led to this. Here we go. Look at his face. Look at his face. This is so easy. I promise. Okay. Yeah. All right. Last time. Okay. Here we go. The fear was atrocious. Well, you I don't, don't know, know what, what it felt like when you touch it. It feels like it's stuck in there, and I was going to hurt him. <laughs> <laughs> Is I, he finished? I've, well, that's not his act. I've got more. No, she. <laughs> <laughs> Well, so, on, please. Okay, thank you. Would you like to see it back on stage? Absolutely not. <laughs> <laughs> May I continue? So, I've decided to bring along this one. Now, this is what we call in the business a wiggly one. Now, because of its shape, when I swallow it, you're going to see the sword through my throat. No, no. Pull one out. Seriously? Yeah. No, do you, you, I really want to pull one you out. You really want to pull yeah. one out? Let's yeah. do it. Okay. Come on. Come on! Come on! Wait! Wait! Howie, would you do it too? Are you serious? Yeah, come serious. On. Would you do it too? Well, wait, 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 wait. Let me ask them. You need something. Hey. No, all three, all three. Wait. I already did it. Come on. Right, find your safety spot. Somebody shout out a number. Three perfect. All right. Good. Oh, it is. just so happens I that I have you. not one, oh. two. not two, but three swords. Three swords. That I'm going to swallow at the same time because okay. you asked for it. Really? And each one of you is going to pull out a sword. I'm jazzing right now. This was not planned. I know. I know. Okay. I had right. no idea. Have you done this before? I have a. No, it doesn't matter. Listen. You're going to put all three in your mouth? I'm going to swallow the three swords. You're going to pull out. No, actually, no, I'm sorry. I You're going to pull did. out the last one. Okay, so it's going to be. Are you sure about that? I, I, right as rain. Will you yeah. really wink for this? I'll, I'll wink. I'll wink. So I'm going to go. I'm going to go down the line with swords in. I've never done this before. Three at once. Three at once. The Here whole we go. Sword. All three. Here we go. Then we'll put no. You start with the top. Yeah, we'll go, 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 go. Okay. Oh, three swords. <laughs> oh, no. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, my God. Concentrate. My least favorite talent is a mime, and now I'm working with one. <laughs>
I'm going to defend you. You want me to defend you when they... We're going to fire you all. <laughs> Simon? You left Simon speechless, I have to say. What do you think, Simon? He has nothing to say. He has nothing to say. <laughs> A fun mess. Story of my life. But it's gonna be a no, sorry. Okay. For me, it's a no. Simon, I know that you can't speak, but what did you think? Wait, wait, little by little. He says that you have amazing craftsmanship. Okay. No? Well, showmanship! Showmanship! What? Okay, stop. It's okay. Thanks a lot, guys. You were a good time! How ungrateful. How ungrateful. This is not me, this is Simon. He says something about the Frank Sinatra pants. What? I really like this song. He really liked your song. And your face. And your face? And voice. And your voice. Spirits <laughs> very better. <laughs> He's not saying anything important. Okay, perfect. Then we're ready for you. And one other thing I was going to say before I get going, I will need a volunteer. I want to say that first. Sophia, but... Sophia, 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 Sophia. Stand right there, please. So, Sophia, have you ever had a whip cracked around you before? I'm not gonna say that to you. Uh. <laughs> that means yes. I'm not on a stage. Not a like AGT. Fair enough. Okay, here we go. No, no, wait, wait. Do I have to close my eyes or something? If you want to, you'll be fine. Just don't move. Are you ready? Don't. No, no, here we go. no, no. Ah! Right, here we go. Actually, you do. That was a great setup. Thank you, Heidi. Hold on to that right there. And he's going to do a big arm swing. <laughs> and let him concentrate. Now he's going to. I never thought about that. Uh -huh. Nice. Do a big arm swing all the way around your head. <laughs> I know. I bit of a mess, Sophia. Do y'all want to see a big mess? <laughs> of course they do. <laughs> Please, oh, they... no! <laughs> What's he going to do with that? Sophia, if you would come over here, please. This is the funnest part. Huh? You get to shoot me with a toilet paper cannon. Put it on your hip. When I say go, you just roll that button all the way forward. And then what? You'll see. Sophia, you ready? And go! Go, Sophia! Wow! Thank you! Dad, thank you so much. I've ever felt. Uh, 
Do you know what it was? And I really felt bad for you. <laughs> but you looked fabulous. I did a good job. Yeah, yeah. you look great. You did excellent. Yeah. again and also Elvis oh. <laughs> <laughs> no you guys were absolutely amazing this is my absolute favorite act so far oh, of the thank night you so, much. Thank so you. good <laughs> Sophia how do you think you did oh I did amazing but not as amazing as Heidi <laughs> <laughs> I think it's so much fun when you guys come to the to the show because it's something so different and this year this season I mean the range of acts it's gonna be so hard for people yeah. to vote and oh, for someone you. to win because this is something we've never ever had on ADT so good luck tonight so Sophia we need you to step closer to the crossbow right about here and audience judges for this we need absolute silence Sophia needs to hear every instruction that I give her the instructions of what Amber load the crossbow <laughs> you look so scared. <laughs> Amber, blindfold Sophia. Come on. No. <laughs> Put on the blindfold. Okay. I can't see anything, huh? Like bad. Stay right where you are, Sophia. Ooh, you get disoriented, huh? Can you see anything? No, nothing. It's like Amber, so guide Sophia's hand over to the crossbow. Okay. Okay, you trust me? Take your hand. Let me know. Do you feel the crossbow? But who is, but not Simon. Simon is not going to be there, right? It's okay, like... you got that? Put your hand on the crossbow. Hold it tight. Now, the audience, remain absolutely silent. Can you feel the trigger? Yes. Don't pull it. Just feel it. Okay. I am going to count to three. When I get to three, I am going to say fire. Hey, Simon, please don't let them make me do this. <laughs> now, it's very important, okay? When Ryan says fire, you have to pull the trigger for his safety and for Simon's. You have to pull the trigger. Okay. Are you ready, Sophia? Safe, okay. right? Okay, let's do it, let's do it. <laughs> Sophia, on the count of three. One, two, three. Fire! Oh my God! Fuck 
me, wait. Give me Sophia, give me Sophia, give me Sophia. He said, he, said, he wants Sophia. He wants Sophia. Listen, we need a medic. Sophia? I gotcha. <laughs> Two, three, fire. Everybody saw Simon pretending that I was the one who did it. I gotcha. <laughs> when I realized that he was pranking me, I just got pissed off. <laughs> you know I'm Colombian and you know we take revenge. <laughs> Since then, been playing the revenge. The Lobster in Las Vegas is opening for AGT in November. I think he's gonna be really happy with this. So we're having a professional sculptor. It's called the busts of all of the dodges. And so Heidi's gonna look great, Howie's gonna look great, Terry's gonna look fantastic, I'm gonna be, you know, perfect. And then Simon's bust is gonna be something horrific. The hair. Yeah, I think you can go higher, higher, higher. Don't be higher afraid. How about those wrinkles down underneath his eyes? Deeper? Enhance them. <laughs> I hired an actress to play like she's the director of the event. Come here. We don't have much time. And Let's keep it quiet because he's outside. So yeah. pretend that you don't know anything and you have to play along. Let's go. Okay, Bye. all right. I love it. <laughs> oh, I mean, I can't wait. I'm getting goosebumps just to think what's going to happen. Thank you. Good evening, everyone. My name is Lucy Powers. I'm the director of marketing at the MGM Luxor in Los Angeles. We had originally planned for a bigger ceremony, but due to the safety restrictions, we are limited capacity. Luckily, thanks to our digital team, we also are streaming worldwide right now. So, oh. Hi, everyone. We are extremely yes. excited to announce that behind this curtain is a very special art installation dedicated to the host and the judges of AGT. Thank you. Now, without further ado, Simon. Yes. Would you please do us the honor of cutting the ribbon and unveiling them to the press for the very first time? With these. Don't run with those. Do I say anything? You're the professional. OK, I am honored to unveil something very, very special for you all. And I have no idea what it is. Activation will be prominently displayed at the Luxor for the length of the show now in Vegas. Oh my god, this looks so good. Um, well, let's just stand behind them. Uh, this is me, I think. This is amazing. Honestly, the worst thing I've ever seen. Oh, look at my head. This <laughs> is <laughs> Ugliest thing. That is so cool. Isn't that amazing? This is amazing. This is amazing. They all look really good. It's incredible, yeah. Where do we look for the artist? Where's it? Thank, Thank, so Thank you so much. We love it. You are amazing. Thank you. Um, how much did this cost? You don't want to know. <laughs> Seriously? This is actually one of the worst things I've ever seen. <laughs> no, but ours are really good, no? That looks really good. Nice. Awesome. Awesome. mine? What? I love mine. It's great. I love, I love mine. It. I think they look like all of you. It's just like us. Terry, let me see yours. Thank you so just much. like me. I mean, look, look at that. that. Turn around this way. Look. Well, that. yours is good. It's amazing. You're not, you're not feeling yours? Uh, I will happily pay whatever your name is to redo this one. Because <laughs> <laughs> this is not going in the lobby you don't of the like Luxor. About it. Well, look at it. Uh, it's a one of a kind. What, you think I. Is this honestly live? Yes. Shut up. Simon. It's great, thank you. 
Thank you, uh, to everybody, something? for being I, I'll here. I'll say something. Can I yes, say something? Please. Thank you so much, everyone. Um, I mean, I never thought that just being in a second season of AGT, I was going to get this to be in Vegas with all my friends here. And we all know that Simon Cowell is always really rude. And what he just did in front of everybody, <laughs> we're not surprised. I was, I was um, kidding. I love it. Um, but you know what? At the end of the day, that's what he gets for messing with a Colombia. So this is his payback. Sophia Vergara, I hate you. We are even. And this will never be seen on TV. <laughs> How are you? What is your name? Where are you from? So you, you're here for the million dollars? Let's see how this goes. But you cute. Who are you? My name is Anishi. Yay! Where are you from? I'm from Japan. Tokyo! Yay! Is this a dream come true to be here? No. 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 My dream is AGT's champion. What you do for a living? <laughs> I'm a telephone uh, salesman. Yeah. Three, two, one, go!
Okay, what do you think? I, I, I don't know. <laughs> I mean, is it really hard? Are they... I think you should crack a nut with your butt and try it. Uh, can I? Yeah, yeah. There's one left. Come on, son. You can do this, Sophia. I mean, is it... It's a real walnut. It's a real walnut. Be careful, Sophia. Which is your strong butt? My strong butt? Which, is, which side is your strong butt? <laughs> I don't know. I've never, I've never thought about that. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Yeah. You got to tighten them up. You got to really go, yeah. Yo! <laughs> no. <laughs> no, it didn't work. What, did it hurt? Yeah. Does it hurt? It, it really hurts. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry I suggested that. That's oh my perfect. god. It's impossible. Y you think you bruised yourself? Oh, for sure. Okay. What's up, America's Got Talent, man? Y'all so beautiful. Oh my god. Look at all these faces here. I love that hat right there. That's a nice hat. Okay. Right now, we're gonna get it popping right now. Left side, we popping right now. Right side, is we pumping right now? Middle crowd, is we pumping right now? Come on, let's get it pumping right now. Hold up, is we pumping right now? You see my eyes? Hold up, my eyes pumping up right now. My eyes pumping out my head right now. My eyes pumping out my head right now. I gotta get rich, but I won't die trying. I gotta keep it real, why these people always lying? Look, the rent due soon, my baby always crying. I told him one day, I'm gonna take him to an island. I said, Daddy's little man, don't say a word, because you're gonna be in that Ferrari. Pulling up to the curb, when the neighbors look at your son, just give him the bird, you got watch some dudes that be like, trust me, man. Even if you for the kids, got milk in the hand, playing that shit, baby, you're not back home, where is he down? Put money on your book, but you don't speak the land. Who wanna spend 25 years for the thought you was a kid? Not me, to free all my people. Hey, yo, hold on. Right side, we popping now. Hold on. Left side, we popping now. Hold on. Let's go. Yeah, we popping now. LGT, you see him popping now. Wow. <laughs> You're a baller. You're an eyeballer. Sophia? I can do that noise. Oh, I can. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, well, let's try this in human. Hello! Who are you? It's me, Chateau de Pica! <laughs> oh, God, I know. It's it Seth the Pica. Me! Okay, I know who you are. What are you... What are you today? What's wrong? I got so bad! What? He's so warm. <laughs> Wait, but he hasn't even started. Well, that's enough. Oh. Right, good luck. Good luck, whatever you are, whatever you're going to do, good luck. <laughs> All right, come on, baby. No, 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 no. Hold up, hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Who are you? Sophia. Sophia? <laughs> I haven't seen you around here before. Yeah, I'm new. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> before I start, Sophia, you want this? No. Oh. Oh. Uh... You just wait. Yeah. You like? You like that now? No. Okay.
Oh, but he didn't do anything. <laughs> 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 and that's not all, baby! There's more? You know, a lot of people know peacocks! They're the largest flying animal! Ah! Ah! You want to see my talent? It's not worth it. It is worth it. This is all I have, Howie. You're not a bloody peacock. My butt fell off. Let me have this. <laughs> the peacock takes flight. Dead. Oh, no. Is he okay? Peacock! Ah! Ah! What is wrong it. with you? You know, it's not my best day. <laughs> so what is your act? Well, I'm going to be doing an animal act for you. I have an animal that has never been on the show. So I'm just really excited to see what you guys think about it. Okay, so go ahead. We're very happy that you're here tonight. Okay, well, I'm going to come a little bit closer. Let's meet our performers. We have little Sophia. Oh, no. No, the one thing I little Heidi. Roaches? And little Simon. Do they fly? They're not going to fly. That's nasty. So for our first talent, Simon's going to go through the hoop. Come on, Simon. Come on, Simon. Come on, Simon. You can do it. Simon. Oh, she's touching it. Come on, Simon. Teeter totter. And up the stairs. Down the slide. Under no. the tunnel. And into the house. I'm not going anywhere near mine. They are. I actually like cockroaches. They just walk around, they clean up the place, they mind their own business, they don't do any harm. They eat garbage. Sinead, I love people who love odd animals. I've never seen an act like this. We're looking for something original. So I'm going to give you your first yes. What? Thank you. Yeah. I feel like you need to practice more and come back. Okay. So for me today, it's enough. Boo! I think your outfit is great, you're great, and, but I, I can't do cockroaches. But it's not about that, it's about the act. I know, but they didn't really do anything. They did! Listen, look, I, I gave you time, I didn't press. They were telling me to press they the They weren't. <laughs> Sophia, yes or no? Are you serious? Yes. Okay. You know what, Sinead? I'm really, really sorry, but That's you okay. come back another year, and maybe this time when Howie's with me, you might yes. get through to the next round. Okay, fair enough. I want to wipe I everything. I believe you said no to that. Elegant. 
brilliant. Well, you know, I try to accentuate the form a little bit. You're like the handsome guy in, you know, Beauty and the yeah, Beast. Yeah, he looks like a prince yes. in that movie. <laughs> what is your name? My name is Jack the Whipper. Oh. <laughs> uh, well, <laughs> and uh, how old are you? I'm 33. Where are you from? I live in Boston. <laughs> so what is your act? So we're going to do some whip cracking. Yeah! And we're going to try and not let the nerves take advantage of us, and we're going to try and have a good time. That's right. Jack, who taught you how to do this? Uh, I grew up in the circus. My dad taught me. So this is your day job? I am a news anchor for Boston's NPR news station. Do they know that you're here with your uh, Yes, they're, they're very well aware of what's happening. <laughs> Jack, go ahead. Thank you. So I've been cracking whips since I was about seven years old. And over the last 25, 26 years, I've learned all the different whip cracks you can do. The front crack, the back crack, the over the head crack, the side crack, the flip crack, hup, even the super fast crack. What I think a lot of people don't understand is just how accurate a whip can be. And you can do that all over the place. You can do that in front. You can do that just behind the back. No look. But the very important thing about that trick is you got to pop the hip. Oh, oh. oh! He took the tip off of that sucker. Now, hold on a second. We did not get that entire target, so we're going to do this. We're going to shorten this target just a tad. We're going to put it on top of the head like so. And we're going to go just like so. Now, I have one more trick for you. I will go. No! I was going, I was going to use Howie for this trick, but Howie's not here, so we're gonna do it on myself. You Simon! You Simon! <laughs> no, Simon scares me. No, no, but he just buzzed. That was Sophia. I'm going to take this target, and we are going to put that right in between your knees. Oh. It was Sophia who no, pressed the buzzer. Yes, that it was. That is not true. Now you're just yes, worried you because it's he has the camera. whip. And if you would, Simon, can you get into a little bit of a squat position for me? Oh. <laughs> Perfect. A little bit closer together. No, no, no. Closer, knees closer together. Perfect. Whoa. Now, Simon. Can we make this quick? I want yes. my phone. To take a picture. Hello. Who are you? We are Jeremy and Stephanie. And we are from Colombia. Oh! <laughs> yes. Ay, ya me imagino lo que viene. Seguro? Me imagino. I can imagine what you're going to be doing. Are you sure? <laughs> Ay, why is she talking in English? <laughs> She's the interpreter. Ah. And what's your name? My name is Suzanne. I'm interpreting for them. Fantastic. Well, we'd like to know, how do they meet each other? ¿Cómo se conocieron ustedes? Pues, Jeremy y yo nos conocimos hace muchos años porque yo era su profesora de baile. Jeremy and I met each other a long time ago because I was his dance teacher. Oh! And is the kind of dance we're going to see today different from other dance groups we've seen? La propuesta que traemos les va a sorprender porque trae mucha pasión Sabrosura. What we're bringing to you today, I think you're really going to like it because it has a lot of passion, spiciness. No, uh-uh, flavor. Flavor. <laughs> That's what she said. <laughs> Queríamos dedicarle esta pieza, obviamente, a todos los latinos que están aquí, especialmente a la juez que nos representa en el mundo entero. I don't think we, need that translation. we would like to dedicate this act to all of the Latinos worldwide, but especially to this judge who we love and we are doing it especially for you. Me. Mucha suerte. <laughs> no, it's me. Me. She was looking Mucha at me. Mucha suerte esta noche. Thank you Thank so you much. Thank you very much. Thank you. Okay, good luck. It's me. I pointed towards me. Ay, ay, 
hope that it's good. Gracias for being spectacular. And I said in English, I was saying to them that you could only trick me for a minute. I kind of thought I knew what you were going to do, and I'm glad you did it. I can't say all I'm that. I'm so proud of you. Thank you so much for coming all the way Gracias here. Gracias a ustedes por inspirarnos. Thank you for inspiring us. Why well, she didn't let me say it. Last but not least, we have Ed in Hawaii. I'm in Hawaii. I, my God, Ed, why, why are you still there? Come back. I have to ask you a question. How did you manage to get the dream job you've always wanted, where you get to sit the entire time <laughs> and someone else do all the work? I don't know, Ed. God always is so good to me. <laughs> Ed, Ed, I haven't fall here. I haven't fall down. You fall down oh a lot? My God. You guys have never seen her fall. It's like a, a puppet and somebody cuts the strings straight down. <laughs> I, don't, I don't go forward or sideways. But I just go straight down. All the time with him, all the time. I hey, did you guys the... ever ever see her do that, her ventriloquist thing with Uncle Grumpy? No, but I want to see it. Well, I have a little surprise for them. Oh, wow. You know, guys, I got I got to tell you, I've been watching the show. I've been really enjoying the show. Oh, oh thank, thank you. Thank you, and yeah. I love you so much. I miss yeah, you. That's it. We love everything you do. Yeah. Everything you oh, do. Oh, Howie, thank you. And man, I hope Simon's OK. Uh, yeah, well, he's getting back. Unlike, unlike Sophia, when he falls, <laughs> it's a bigger deal. Yeah. <laughs> thank you, Ed. Right. I love you. Thank you, Ed. <laughs> thank you, Ed. You are amazing. Uh, nice talking to you guys. The best wow. heart. <laughs> I can't believe it. Oh, I thank you, God. Thank you. Is that mustard in the front? Is that alien? Good evening. Greetings. <laughs> Greetings. <laughs> Who are you? I am Zeepglorp from Xenon in the Andromeda Galaxy. Okay. Is that far away from here? It is incredibly far away for humans. And you are here at AGT because? I 
am a ventriloquist. Ah. Oh. oh, wow. And you are a hot dog at the same time. <laughs> yes, the hot dog I have determined is aesthetically pleasing to Americans. That is why I have put this on. Do you feel comfortable? Yes. Yes. I love hot dogs too. Weirdly, I'm very comfortable with his hot dog. When outfit. it comes to this contest, when it comes to America's Got Talent, do you think you could be a wiener? <laughs> yes. I will win this competition easily. And then what? Where, where do you want to go with all of this? Well, I learned that humanity was very sad. They needed a message of hope. No, 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 no. I mean, what do you want to do with your act? Not with humanity. Do you want to go to Vegas? Do you want to go to the circus? Where? Oh, uh, my goal is to take the American dollars and donate them to all in need. All right. Okay, go ahead Good with luck. your act. Thank you. I will now go get the star of the show. Do not worry, humans. There will be no probing. Pooping? No, no what? what? There's no pooping? Probing. You cannot say you're a ventriculist when you have a mask on. Simon, Simon, please. Simon, what did you think? What do I think? I think that is the worst act we have seen this year on the show by a mile. Please, Simon. Everything about that was terrible. Even, even your voice was annoying. Simon. You didn't like my voice? I'm going to curse you! Curse you! You are cursed, Simon! You are cursed, Simon! You didn't like my voice? You are cursed, Simon! Do any of the judges have an item of jewellery they're really connected to? Sophia, I can see your engagement ring there. Um, I want you to relive the memory of your engagement. Maybe think of a detail that only you and Joe know, maybe your close family, something that there's no way I could know. Yep. Got something in mind? Now, Sophia, will you um, take off your engagement ring and hand it to Simon, please? You can trust him, don't worry. Christ. <laughs> <laughs> My God. Oops. So now, Simon has that engagement ring that means so much to you, we're going to lose it. No, no. Judges, oh. stand up and come with me. What the heck? Let's go, people. Oh. Wow, look oh. at this place. I G. <laughs> so as you can see, whilst you were watching the other act, I laid out a thousand ring boxes. Simon, you're now going to go and lose Sophia's ring in one of the boxes. So in a moment, Sophia and I are going to turn away so that we can't peek at all, and you can walk around the room and choose one of the boxes and put Sophia's ring in it. Happy with that? Yeah. Perfect. No peeking. Where do you get this many white boxes? I said, change my mind. Um, I ordered them online, and there was a lot of very confused phone calls about why I wanted them. <laughs> Are you ready? 
ready? Yeah. Done. We turn around? Yeah. Yep. Okay, so you've hidden the, the ring somewhere. Now it's my job to try and find it. Sophia? Yes. I want you to bring to mind the memory that is attached to that ring. So everything about it, the details that only you know, the clearer it is in your mind, the more likely it is that I'll be able to find your ring. It's very clear. Very clear in yes. your mind. I'm going to set off. <laughs> okay, so just keep reliving that memory in your mind and just sort of guide me like as if you as if you did know where it was you're just sort of you're magnetically drawn to what no all right just keep oh i think i know where it is so have you got a psychic impression what why are you a psychic too now no hey. oh, oh. When, when you were proposed, you weren't at home, were you? You were, you were somewhere else, you were far away. Yes. Yes. And the plans had to change for your engagement. Yes. It, yes. Yes. Um, oh, yeah? Uh-huh. Oh. Sophia, how confident are you that I'm holding your ring? Like zero. Zero? Yeah. There's no way you know that that's there. Your ring, with all the memories and emotions attached, you guided me to your lost ring. You didn't even know where it was. So let's see how we did. Your ring. And there's a detail. I'm going to throw up. But there's a detail about your engagement that's sort of stuck in your mind that no one knows. Joe got down on one knee, and as he did, there was a rainbow. Is that correct? Yes? <laughs> yes, what? I am sort of down on my knee, Sophia, so you could put me out of my misery any time you like. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect, thank you very much. How did you know that? You with the sad eyes Ooh. Don't be discouraged It's hard to take courage in a world full of people. You can lose sight of it all, and the darkness inside you makes you feel so small. But I see your true colors shining through. I see your true colors, and that's why. Gotta let them show your true colors are beautiful. Sophia does not cry. Yeah. This is incredible. I loved it because, you know, it's a beautiful song, but you made it yours, and it was special. It was different. Thank you.
Thank you so much. Darcy, it was so amazing to see you perform a couple of weeks ago. I can't believe that I got to see you in I person. I can't believe talking to you. You look older now. Yeah. Beautiful. <laughs> Grew up a little bit. Um, you know, I am I am a ventriloquist too. Really? Believe it or not. No. Yeah. Can I introduce you to Mr. Grumpy? I have it. You wow. want to meet him? Yes. This is Mr. Grumpy. Oh my gosh, Mr. Grumpy. Hi, Mr. Grumpy. It's so nice to meet you. Oh, hi, Darcy. Hi, Sophia. I wow. haven't seen you in a long time. You look beautiful. You look young every day. So how how long have you how long have you been doing? Oh, I've done it for eleven, 11 years. Eleven years. Wow, it's amazing. Mr. Grumpy would get along well with my friend Edna. Edna, Edna, where are you? Hi. Oh, oh hi, Edna. You are very old. What? You're very old. What? Old. So how do you make the sounds, like the the B's and the P's? Because those are the hard letters. Oh, they're hard to me for you, but not for me. Y yes. Darcy, I really think next time you're in the show, if you want to bring something new to the stage, just for you and me and, and Mr. Grumpy and Edna, I guess yes. we can. I think we can make that work. No. Yes. Yes, Edna. Where is Simon? I need to see my hunka hunka English nin. Hi. Whoa. Hi. Oh, Howie. Hi. What are you guys doing? You look so much older from the last time I, I saw you. That's no, that's what I told her. No, I'm you talking really about you. Oh. I haven't that's, seen you. Howie, that's kind of near. <laughs> Since last think... night. Oh, can I can I join you? If you're silent. <laughs> okay. You you're not Simon. I can get Simon. Give me a minute. You can't get Simon. Simon is not here. Really? Hello, darlings. Sophia, I don't just like Edna. I love Edna. You're moving. I can do this too. He's moving his lips. Howie, you're moving your lips. What's great about the way I do ventriloquism is Howie. you cannot see you're the moving. puppet's lips move at all. Howie, this yeah. was not a joke. This was something that we have in common, that we're both good at it. This was not a joke. And we were trying to figure okay, out what we it, were going to do I get together it, I get maybe it, in the I get future. It, I get it. Thank Bye, you. Simon. Goodbye. I am so sorry, Darcy. It's like, OK. <laughs> we can, you know, plan more. At least Edna got to see Simon. I love you, Simon. I'm Simon. And I'm Maria. How old are you? I'm 12. And I'm 10. Who made your outfits? I love them. They were actually made in Colombia. What? They're perfect. <laughs> I knew they were made in Colombia. I could smell it. <laughs> they smell like coffee. <laughs> I'm so excited that you guys are here. I'm guessing you guys are going to dance? Yes. Salsa dancing. Wow. <laughs> Where are you guys from? Um, originally, from? we're from Colombia, and we were both born there, but now we're living in New Jersey. We're in Colombia, in Cali, or in... Medellin. Medellin. I was born in Cali. Son pa... Ay, caleña, I knew it. Y paisa. Señora. Qué bueno, qué contenta estoy de que estén aquí. Gracias por venir. Muchas wow. gracias. Ay, perdón. Wow. Who is the boss? Of course! Uh, <laughs> I was thinking exactly the same thing. Is this the first time that you're with such a big audience? Yes, ma'am. Remember, this is for a million dollars. But it's not in Colombian pesos, so it's good. <laughs> okay, go ahead, good luck. Okay, let's see you dance. Thank you. Thank you. Here we go. I love the feathers. I love the feathers on it. <laughs> I wish I could do that today.
faces. I love how much you're into the dance. It was fantastic to Thank watch you. you. You guys had so much energy, and I love the song you picked. These guys won't know anything about it, but I do. I was going to say that. I'm going to need your advice on this one, Sophia. I'm very excited to hit the buzzards. You're talking about the golden buzzer. No, all the buzzards in general. Whoa. I can't write one song that's not about you. Is it too late to tell you that? It's nothing if I can't have you. I'm in Toronto and I got this. But I'm not in I was hoping it was gonna be, I don't know, maybe there was like a problem with the sound, with the microphone. There was I don't problem. think that was the issue. I still don't know what I'm doing. I'm like... <laughs> I perform comedy at night, but I fix French toilets for a living. That's my bidet job. What was that? He read bad jokes. He just annoyed us. Let's get Let's get I was like, uh, uh, uh. <laughs> Yo, my husband is here. Your wife is keeping us all entertained. Now you know how I feel at home. Is it like a toilet plunger? <laughs> it's a super no from me. A super no? Is that even allowed on the show? I'm new, so I can do whatever I want. I want to kiss you in the face right now. Thank you for your try. Good night. Oh, God. <laughs> you know what? He is responsible for the creation of the super no, so... The super no. Welcome to <laughs> Sophia's Got Talent. <laughs> Sunshine, where'd you go today? Sometimes it's like you're so far away. Then I'm reminded how it used to feel to wonder if the pain was even real. I'm awakened now. Pretty spectacular. I think you're a very brave guy, and I think you're very inspirational, Nolan. 
that song is going to really resonate with a lot of people and for whatever reason maybe maybe now is your time i like you a lot i think you're amazing thank you for being here thank you howie sophia i it, it was really uh touching for me your song thank you I know very well the sickness of addiction. My family is completely full of this horrific sickness and I totally understand. And to be here tonight and to hear that song, for me, it gives me a lot of hope about people that are going through your song. Thank you. Thank you so much. Sincerely, thank you. Let's vote. Heidi? I'm gonna give you your first yes. Sophia? Yes. Simon? Of course it's a yes. Thank you. And you have four yeses, and we can't wait to hear you again, Nolan. Thank you so much. I'm going to present to you the roast of Simon Cowell. Oh. So I got into my comedy labs. I did a big data analysis, right? I looked at Simon's likes and dislikes, and I charted them, because I'm me. And so here we go. We'll start with his dislikes. Uh, number one, PowerPoint. If I'd known that, I would have gotten something completely different in my audition. 3% likability. That's really not likable. Uh, number two, uh, shaving. The man does not own a razor, right? Now, maybe you do shave. You're just so masculine. The minute you finish, boom, the hair pops back out. At 1%, Parmesan cheese. <laughs> Parmesan, Parmesan. Uh, clowns, if you know, he hates clowns. He, I, I can't even stay on this slide. And finally, the biggest dislike, minus 6% is uh, falling off a bike. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. Sorry. Too, too soon? Have you thought about training wheels? That's all I'm saying. That's all. <laughs> yeah. Stan, in what world do you live in, Rebecca? Where some 17-year-old dude is showing up to this house party like, Y'all not gonna believe this. I got Pinot Grigio. <laughs> yeah, got that Grigio. <laughs> Let's do shots of Chardonnay. Let's start a book club. <laughs> yeah. It's never happened, right? You don't know a 17 year old that owns a corkscrew. That's weird, all right? Not one time in your entire life can you tell me a time where you've seen a 17-year-old dude be like, mm, 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 mm. this Merlot pairs so well with the Doritos Locos Taco. Mm. <laughs> oh, that's good. It is just something about Zinfandels in a Hot Pocket that is to die for. <laughs> Sophia. You, you did so much magic in two and a half minutes that I don't even know what I was seeing. You made me believe in magic. This is amazing. This was better than your audition. And I really want to know what Simon thinks. Simon, did he win you over? I think I helped you. No. I do. I really, really do. I the think magic that, Simon. no, by me saying no at the auditions, I think has pushed you to be a better magician. <laughs> and I'm very happy to say on live television, I am officially an idiot. Yeah! No. <laughs> Howie! I want to give a standing ovation to, let me finish, to Howard Stern. Because I think you made the best choice. It this is. is probably the best wild card. Uh, please, Nobody please, has done please, better. Hug it out. Hug it out. They're going to kiss on live TV. They were arguing. Oh! I think I see tongue. There was tongue involved. Magic is definitely in the air. Oh, my God. You did it. Hi, Howie. They kissed on live television. Where's my wife? <laughs> I worked at this grocery store for a lot of hateful years. Why is it when you hate your job, they won't fire you? 
And now look, I worked in the worst department at the grocery store, not the meat, not produce, not the freezer. I worked in the steel department. You familiar with the steel department, right? Self-checkout lane? <laughs> I got paid to watch people steal all day. And people think you stupid. Like, you know when they're gonna rob you when they're bringing up their stuff, they always gotta look back up at you. They're like, boop, boop. <laughs> this one dude tried to humiliate me. Like, I knew he was gonna rob us because I'm looking at him, he's looking at me. I'm like, just steal it. <laughs> but he, tries, he tries to play me in front of the entire store while he's ringing his stuff up. He makes the beat noise with his mouth. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't even do it right. Like, you gotta act this out, go all in, raise your pitch at least. He's like, <laughs> I like the produce is not even supposed to make a sound. <laughs> You're beeping unbeepable stuff. When I got invited to come in America's Got Talent Champions, it was like all my dreams came true at once. I thought he was gonna be a singer. So I decided to do some research on the judges. Did you know that backstage there are five hairdressers, three makeup artists, a wardrobe department, and a whole team of nutritionists? <laughs> and that's just to maintain Simon's new look. Oh. 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 Heidi, uh -oh. my mum told me that you're a victorian. Secret supermodel. <laughs> and she showed me one of your videos. But then Dad came home from work and we watched all your videos. <laughs> over and over again. This is Barbara Walters, and today on my show, I have award winning actress Natalie Portman. Natalie, I hear you're having a baby. I am Barbara. <laughs> We're thinking of naming the baby Oscar, but that's, that, that's silly because that's my cat's name, so. Hey, y'all, it's Molly Cyrus. What's up? That's good. That's good. What, Dad? No, I'm not gonna clean my room right now. Want me to clean out your bank account? <laughs> I got a motorcycle. I don't like telling people I have a motorcycle, because every time I tell someone, they always gotta tell me a story about how their friends crashed on a motorcycle. You know, like, why do people have to be so negative? I don't go up to pregnant women telling them my dad left. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so annoying. So annoying. I walked at my apartment one time, right? I walked at my apartment and my neighbor walked up to me. She was like, oh my God, you got a motorcycle? Are you stars? Are you stars? You better be careful. I got in a car wreck the other day. My car flipped eight times. I'm looking to be alive. Blessed, right? Yeah. She black, by the way. <laughs> Everyone around us was like, you know, that, was, that is crazy that your car flipped eight times. You're alive. You are blessed, you know? And I'm, I'm over here thinking, who the heck counted, right? Like, Who's that calm when their car's flipping in the air? Ah! One! Like, who's doing that? <laughs> My name is Preacher. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. That's it. That's no, we need more. We need more. I can teach you how to do Ryan Reynolds, but first you have to do Jim Carrey's voice. And in order to do Jim Carrey, just imagine yourself as a giant Canadian bird, okay? <laughs> Hi there, judges. Uh, I have some voices for you. <laughs> Take that Canadian bird down to a sexy whisper, and you have Ryan Reynolds. Hi there. <laughs> I have some voices for you, judges. <laughs> I hope you enjoy them. <laughs> that did sound like Ryan Reynolds. Oh my God. Okay, here's how to do Seth Rogen's voice. Yeah. Take Santa Claus's laugh. Ho, ho, ho. Now imagine Santa Claus eats a different kind of cookie. <laughs> uh, <laughs> this is a crazy. 
messy job. I just lay down chimneys and I deliver packages to kids and eat their cookies. <laughs> now you can do that. You know, I'm not from California, but I look like I am. <laughs> just another wobbly guy on the sidewalk. <laughs> <laughs> I made eight bucks walking over here. <laughs> Thank you. Hey, can you guys see this bracelet? Yeah. yeah. Good. Uh, just making sure. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> everybody always thinks that this is one of those copper magnetic healing bracelets. I'm like, hey, does that thing work? I'm like, oh yeah, man. I was in a wheelchair last week. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I'm gonna put it on this arm next week. <laughs> I better take it off soon though, you know? I don't wanna get too better. <laughs> Might mess up my show and then I have to figure out how to be a magic singing ventriloquist or whatever. <laughs> Let's just say we're not getting a puppet on that thing. Oh my God! I just got the citizenship. Yeah! Until I got my citizenship, I never had a road rage. If somebody cut me off, I'd be like, oh, so sorry. I was driving too slow. <laughs> But the day I got the citizenship, somebody cut me off. I'm like, what the heck? You can't cut me off. This is my land. <laughs> That's when I realized I become true American. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's great. He's hilarious. Because I felt entitled. Before the citizenship, somebody hold the door for me. I ran really fast. I'm like, thank you so much. After the citizenship, I'm like, uh, you hold the door, you peasant. <laughs> I got sassy. I love her. Howie, I, I want to say this from, from my heart here. Uh, what you have done for the show and as a friend, as one of the most amazing people I've ever worked with, oh, wow. I wanted to pay you a tribute to show your significance and most importantly, your importance for the 10 years you've been on the show. Over to you, Tony. Hey, it's out on Sunset Boulevard. Okay, let's take a look. Here we go. Count it down with me, people. Where am I looking? Five, four, three, two, one. And that didn't sit well with a lot of people online. Right. Uh, right. How do you respond to that? Um, I'm not responding to them. You but, should apologize. But, you know what? The competition was brutal. The, and, and last night, we had the highest of highs and then some incredible, for me, personal disappointments. And we are here, and we are all paid, to be honest. I am brutally honest. That's why it was brutal. Good luck to everyone. But you sometimes are also grumpy. I'm not grumpy. Yeah, okay. And also, I'm, I'm translating. Yeah. She said grumpy. Okay. Well, you they know what? Me. This is a good sign. Listen, Sophia, a lot of the judges, you guys disagreed on a lot of the acts last night. Why do you think that was? Um, well, we, well, first of all, we have different tastes. And we, we all have the same taste. Some of them don't know what they <laughs> what they what they're supposed to know. Uh, I know everything grumpy? we know. <laughs> how is grumpy sometimes, and Simon is sometimes loco, so it, there's nothing. No, I admit it. I do admit it. <laughs> it was very hard on me growing up. He used to call me a huge waste. <laughs> you see, both of my parents wanted me to become a lawyer. Never even came close to becoming a lawyer, but I was once involved in a suit. 
but I've since traveled the world. Went to Spain, fell madly in love with a Spanish sundress. <laughs> and we broke up and I was pantalones. Yeah! I love him. But I'm happily married now. Aw. <laughs> My wife and I are Polly. It's polyester. <laughs> Our daughter Capri. Brought home a pair of sweatpants. Hey, I want to be a supportive father, but I want to see her date someone ironed with a crease. This guy looked like he'd been donated. She asked if he could spend the night. I said, in my house, you'll sleep in separate drawers. You know the problem when you go to a nursing home and you look like me? Yeah, they wouldn't let me out. <laughs> The only reason I'm here tonight is I had to get a night pass from the front desk. <laughs> the first thing I found out when I got old is that young people hate old people. Oh, is that right? No. Oh, no. No. Really? Did you ever drive behind an old person? <laughs> yes. Does this look familiar? Yes. <laughs> yeah. The worst thing I'm experiencing now at 80 is that my hearing has gotten awful. I'm talking to this woman the other day, and she tells me she has a peanut allergy. Right, I misheard the word. I said, what happens? She said, I start choking and gagging. Yo, this is a true story. When I was 10 years old, my parents sent me to Tourette's camp. Yeah, that's where the joke should end. <laughs> it's a real place, and I didn't realize it till this moment, but I found out that when other people twitch, it makes me twitch more. <laughs> so on the first day, they put us in a circle with a hundred kids. Oh, no. <laughs> the kid next to me did a shoulder roll, and my Tourette saw that and took that as a challenge. And I threw him a head flop. The girl next to him did a full body twitch and everybody saw that and all hell broke loose. <laughs> that is funny. Some of my charts, I can't explain why they're true. I just know from experience, this is what's gonna happen. Here's the locker room at my gym. I am the blue dot, I walk in. I start to get changed. The minute I get all my clothes off, 12 guys walk in and this is where their lockers are. <laughs> That is so true. <laughs> it defies statistics. Sometimes statistics sound scary, but it's not when you look at it from a different angle. When I first got married, I heard 44% of marriages end in divorce. That's a scary number. Think about that. 40, my wife and I are like, do we stand a chance? Think of the other side. If 44% of marriages end in divorce, you know what that means? 56% of marriages end in death. <laughs> Till death do us part. <laughs> Those are the two ways that marriages end, folks. If, if you're married, enjoy it now. It does not end well. <laughs> there was, you know, we were deliberated a lot about whether we put you through to the final. I think Howie in particular didn't want you to be here. Ah, yes. And no. I said, no, you know what? No. I don't care what you say, Howie. No. They're going through to the finals. And you know what? I was right. And you know what I love about you? It's different. And it's yeah. difficult. Okay. And I like people who take that moment. And you took that moment. And we're going to remember yeah. you. For me, yeah. best act of the night, only two are going through, remember. You've got to vote. Howie Canada represent. Yeah, he's a liar, eh? <laughs> no, he's I'm a not. real liar, eh? The only la, thing I'm mad at la, is la, that you worked la, on la, Canada's la, Got la, Talent. La, you would have won la, Canada's la, Got Talent. La, la, you guys are so fucking good. <laughs> My roommate's actually white, and he's like, uh, this is racist. Not all white people are serial killers. I'm like, well. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like all serial killers are white here, buddy. You're on season 14. Come on. You know what I'm saying? It's a clean sweep. Let's go. And I feel bad because white people are actually the only people in the world that can be serial killers. There's no other ethnicity in the world that can get away with eight unsolved murders in a row. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, you don't think black people want to be serial killers? Of course they do. They cannot. Could you imagine a black serial killer? He would get pulled over on the way to getting supplies. <laughs> 
<laughs> he hasn't even done anything yet. Come on. Indians, Asians, Hispanics, we can't be serial killers. Our family's way too nosy. <laughs> My mom's an old Indian lady. She's a snitch. <laughs> My mom will just show up. That is a rope. What happened to the duct tape? That is the bleach. I'm calling the cops. I'm like, come on, mom, you raised me. <laughs> Don't do this. I'm your son. Come on. <laughs> Password is magic. Dad, do you just look? No, not at that. Are not you guys talking? No. <laughs> Trick. Magic. Yes! 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 Magic is the correct <laughs> word. That is cheating. Who heard him tell me the word? That's that cheating. That means that you were cheating already. <laughs> him, him, They're him, cheating him, 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 him. because they heard you cheating. <laughs> All right, nice. this is the I'm final clue. the clue. We are actually tied at the moment, <laughs> and we are going to start with Howie. The okay. password is... Ready? Million. Dollars. <laughs> million. Oh! He's right! Thank That's you very it. much. Everybody. Smack 